What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today is the first day of fall. That is right. Summer's over and the best season in the whole world is here. Fight me on it. <laughs> Except don't actually. Um, I love fall. It's really the only season that um, I pretty much like from start to finish. Um, and it's the only season that I actually use fall colored inks. Um, they happen to be my favorite color inks, um, which is like anything that's like kind of warm, brown tones, things like that. So I picked out five to talk about. These are the ones I find myself using most often this time of year, um, which is Pilot Eru Shizuku uh, Sakushi. This is Daimin um, Ancient Copper. It just happens to be in an old sailor bottle. Um, I have Gerbin Lit de Thé, Diatramentus Tobacco, and uh, Mont Blanc James Purdy and Sons Single Malt. Um, so these guys are definitely my go-to inks. Um, and I've already gone ahead and pre swabbed them for you all um, mostly because the last couple times I've done anything about ink I've gotten some comments on them just saying that people would prefer um, to see them when they're dry and not so wet um, so I've gone ahead and done that um, let me just raise the camera a little bit here for you you can see my iPad now <laughs> um, so these are the swabs that I have. So Gerbon Lit de Thé and Diatramentus Tobacco um, really depend on the pen that you have them in. Sometimes they're a little lighter, like the way they look here. Um, sometimes they're a little bit darker versus like, you know, what um, if it's a wet writer, if it's a dry writer, things like that. Um, they're coming out a little bit more ashy looking on the camera than they are in real life. They're a little bit more saturated, um, but I really like those for um, the cooler tones. And then my warmer tones here, um, Pilot Eero Shizuku Tsukushi is almost like brown, but like slightly purple. Um, and then Diamine Ancient Copper um, and Mont Blanc James Purdy and Sons um, Single Malt are, these are my, are my top two. These are my favorites, the ones I use more often. And then these I kind of substitute in, um, you know, where I, where I want to, but these two are my favorite. This one's definitely more, um, a little bit more saturated, more on the red side. This is a little less saturated, a little more on the orange side, um, but this one really smells good. You don't really smell it in your pen. Um, you will if you start writing with it immediately after inking it up, um, but the scent does go away a little bit. Um, so if you have the ink and you don't like it, it comes in a box just like this. You have the ink, but you don't like the scent of it. Um, you know, just upon first sniff, don't worry, the scent does go away. Um, it does smell like alcohol. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you're gonna pick it up. But these are my five favorites with these two being the top two. If I had some honorable mentions, um, very similar to this, it's sort of like if these two colors had a baby, um, is Dye Mine um, Autumn Oak. It, it literally looks like a combination of these two. Um, next would probably be another honorable mention would be another Diatramentus uh, ink. I think actually I have a swab of it. Um, yeah, so it's going to be the cola, which is kind of like this color here. Um, so Diatramentus cola and Diamine um, Autumn Oak would probably be my uh, honorable mentions. Um, and I also typically like to use them in you know, fall-ish looking pens. Not always, um, you know, sometimes I just use like my Lamy 2000, for example, but I do like to kind of have some warmer tone pens um, to really make those colors shine. Uh, I, like I said, I really love fall. I love everything about it. I love the cozy sweaters. Yes, people, I do enjoy <laughs> a pumpkin spice latte. Um, this is also a pen that sometimes I'll ink up. It's not quite fall vibes, but a little bit. Is that almost like Halloween-y type vibe. Um, so, you know, I, I enjoy fall quite a bit. Um, and I'll usually keep, at the very least, these two inked up for pretty much the entire season. Um, I'm not usually one to match inks or anything with certain seasons, um, but for fall, I always seem to do that because it's my favorite and I love these color inks. Um, so I'm curious, one, do you guys do like inks per season? Do you have like summer inks, winter inks, fall inks, spring inks, things like that? Um, 
you say inks enough time, it start, stops making sense. Um, if you do, what colors do you uh, lean towards? Um, is it like one ink in particular? Do you have like, you know, a grouping of inks? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, guys, thanks for watching this quick little video here. If you like it, hit that like button. If you really liked it but haven't done so already, do hit that subscribe button. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday uh, with Q&A on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Guys, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.